guys, it's Becca. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another packing video for you. I've done a couple of these in the past, so of course I'll link those if you want to check out some other packing videos. But today is going to be a little bit different. If you saw my trip announcement, then you know that this is a really quick trip. We're leaving in just a few days and it's only for the weekend. So we're only going for two nights. So I'm packing in a carry-on, which We've never gone to Disney with carry-ons before. We always check our luggage because we go for five or six nights. So this will be a little bit different. So I'm excited to show you everything that I'm bringing. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So I'm gonna start this the way I start all of my other packing videos and that is with clothing. So I have a couple of t-shirts. I only, I realized I only need two. So just a couple that are really lightweight. And then this rain jacket, of course, we never go to Disney without our rain jackets. And then I have this super cute black and white striped t-shirt dress. So this will be what I'm gonna wear on our last day. And then I have two pairs of denim shorts. So that's what I'm bringing for my outfits. And then I have my rose gold Club 33 ears, which I love. I think this is the only pair I'm going to bring. And then I have this hat, which, cool story, my husband actually made this. He works in screen printing, and so he got this custom made for us. So I thought that was really cool. So I have a one-of-a-kind Epcot hat. So, um, so I'm going to be bringing both of these with me and then this will be the outfit that I'm going to wear on the plane. So it's just this really cozy sweater. I wish you could feel it. It's so soft. Um, this t-shirt and then a pair of leggings. So that's what I'm going to wear on the plane. And then for hair tools, I always bring my own blow dryer and my curling wand. This is honestly what makes my hair last all day in the Florida heat. So I never go anywhere without this. This is the T3 styling wand, which of course I will link below. And then something new I'm going to be packing this trip is this little portable fan. So I always hate it when rooms don't have ceiling fans. We always sleep with a ceiling fan, and so I really like having that white noise of a fan. So I just thought, you know what, I'm not sure if the resort we're staying at has a fan, so we're just going to bring our own, and that way we know that we'll have um, that ready to go for our nightstand when we go to bed. So we'll have that. Next for makeup, y'all know I love this makeup case. This is from Amazon. I've talked about this several times and I absolutely love it. It's a hard shell case so you know that your makeup is safe. There's nothing worse than throwing all of your makeup in a just little bag and then everything is shattered when you get to where you're going. So I love this, but my favorite thing about it is that these are removable. So you can and adjust this however you want. So whatever makeup you're taking, you can always make it fit. And so I just rearranged all of this to work with the makeup that I'm gonna be bringing to Disney. So I'll just really briefly show you everything that I'm gonna be taking, because I know a lot of you ask and want me to show you what I actually bring in my makeup case. So first I have this Hourglass palette and this is the Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 4 and I love this because it has blush, bronzer, finishing powder, highlighter. It has everything I need in that. And then these are the lip products that I'm going to be using. <laughs> Y'all know that I love the Lancome Labsolu Lip Lacquers. I love these because they're so pigmented and so long lasting. So I have three different shades. That is all I will be wearing. Next for powder, I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is what locks in my makeup all day. <laughs> I can't go anywhere without this powder. So of course I'm bringing that. I'm bringing a Becca Cosmetics highlighter. I'm bringing my It Cosmetics, uh, what is this called? The Celebration Foundation in the Illumination version. <laughs> and I love this powder. This is what I use to touch up my makeup throughout the day. Instead of redoing everything, um, this is what I use. And then my favorite blush. This is from Hourglass in the shade Mood Exposure. It's just the perfect neutral shade blush. I love it. I've had it forever. And then this bronzer is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronzer in the shade Fair Light. And I love it because it has a really pretty sheen to it and it's great. 
So next for foundation, I have this, I might move my foundation into this just to keep everything really compact when it comes to liquids, um, but we'll see, I need to double check the ounces on my foundation, but this is what I'm gonna be bringing, um, if I can get it out of here. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I have it in the shade 410 and this is my current uh, favorite foundation. I love this and I wore it to the parks on our last trip, I'm pretty sure, and my makeup lasted all day long. And I love it because I only need a little bit, a little goes a long way, and it's just the best. It's super light on the skin, but still gives a decent amount of coverage, and I just love this. So that's what I'm going to be bringing for my foundation. For concealer, I'm bringing this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. Love those two together especially. And then of course my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is what really locks in. So when you pair this with the Laura Mercier powder, these two together are foolproof. And then for mascara, I'm bringing a couple different um, mascaras. I'm bringing the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, and then I'm also bringing the Essence Lashes of the Day Super Volume Mascara. So I love both of those. And then for primer, I'm bringing the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. I know they have a bunch of versions of this, but I love the hydrating version. And then for brows, I'm bringing both of these Benefit um, brow products. This is the uh, Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil and then the 24-hour uh, Brow Setter from Benefit. So I love both of those. So that is what I'm bringing. That's everything in here. And then my sponge, of course, I really need to wash that. <laughs> Gross, don't look. Um, and then for eyeshadow, I just slid my eyeshadow palette up here in this little pocket. And I'm going back to my original favorite palette, <laughs> the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Um, this just really has everything you need for a neutral look. It has, I mean, just everything. Something that you can do for a really neutral daytime look or you can kind of deepen things up and go more glam so I really love that and I thought it would be perfect for this trip so I'm gonna put that in there and that is what I'm bringing for my makeup <laughs> Moving on to toiletries. <laughs> I rarely go into detail about my toiletries, but here we go. So I love these makeup wipes. These are just from Target, and I just buy the little 15 packs because they're great for traveling. And then I have some dry shampoo, um, some of this Tend Skin for women and men. So basically, this is what really helps prevent razor burn when it's really hot outside and you shower and you shave and you do all your normal stuff and it's just so, so hot and all that junk. So this is what really, really helps me have clear skin when we're at the parks. So I really love this. I just use a cotton pad and just kind of dab this um, in any areas that I think might get razor burn and it's super helpful when going to Disney. Um, next is this blow dry and primer spray for my hair. It's the Dry Bar Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. So that's one of my favorites. Um, some shaving cream, deodorant, and I talked about this on my last trip as well, this Body Glide for her, and then just this travel sized uh, sunscreen. So that is what's going in this portion. And then in here, I have my razor. Uh, I'll put my toothbrush, toothpaste in here. And then this is the section where I have my shampoo and conditioner and all of my skincare. So this is what I always put in here. So I always bring um, a little travel loofah, something that I can just leave, honestly, and not have to um, try to like dry out and bring home. <laughs> um, so that is what this is, just a little mini loofah. I have my own um, shampoo and conditioner that I love. And then I also put my own face wash in here, my own lotion in here, some moisturizer. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. It has hyaluronic acid in it and I just, oh, I love this. This is the absolute best facial moisturizer. Morning, night, it goes great under makeup. I mean, 
everything. I love this. And then I have my toner. I just put some of this in this little squirty bottle, <laughs> um, just again, so that it would be perfect for a carry-on. So, and then next is these little cotton rounds and some Q-tips and things like that. So that is everything that's gonna go in there. I'm pretty sure I have everything that I need. I think the only thing I'd still need to add is just my toothbrush and that is pretty much it. So that is everything that's going in my toiletry bag. Next, I've talked about these in every packing video and they're still getting used, except they're getting a little worn and dirty. <laughs> so what goes in here is my medicine. So anything over the counter. So um, I just went ahead and got the, this little um, like travel size Tylenol. Um, I have some Tums, some Excedrin, and I just put it in these little plastic bags and keep it in there. Um, and I'll keep that in my purse when we get on the plane. So that is what's going in there. This one, same thing. This is for all of our magic bands. So yeah, we bring all the colors. <laughs> so uh, that is what's going in there. And this will also go in my purse as well. Um, next, this will go in my purse this time is my laptop. I have my charger, some headphones in this little pocket in here, and then my laptop in there. So as for my actual purse that I'm gonna be bringing, I picked up this. I realized that the other one I had was just a little small. <laughs> so I picked this one up. It's, um, I would say this is almost double the size of what I had before. And so I'm really excited to have this and not feel like everything is overflowing. So that'll be really helpful. And I just got this from Target. And so it has this zipper on the outside as well as a zipper on the inside. And it also has this divider, which I really love. So it's not just you're throwing everything in one big bag. I love that I can still be organized with it. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So both of these things um, will go in this bag. So next is my electronics. So this is where I'm gonna keep my camera. Again, this is something else that I've talked about in every other packing video. This is our portable charger. Got this from Amazon. Love it. I have all of our other little cords and chargers in there, so I'm not gonna pull it out. Um, but that's gonna go in there. And then I have uh, this handheld grip for my camera. This is what I use to vlog with. So uh, love, love, love that. So that's gonna go in there. And then my camera charger and as well as this SD card converter. So all of that always goes in here. And that will also go in my carry-on purse. Moving on to shoes, these are my new favorite Nike running shoes and they are so comfy. So these are the main shoes that I'm gonna be bringing with me and I'm probably gonna wear these on the plane just to save room in my suitcase. Next, I'm bringing these little wedges. These are actually surprisingly really comfortable. I will not be wearing these for a full park day or anything like that, but if we decide to go out to dinner one night or I don't know, just, you never know, something. <laughs> so I'm bringing these, and then I also have these cute little sandals, which I have worn these in the parks before for an evening, and they actually were pretty comfortable. So um, I just got these from Target, and these were from Target as well. Um, but I think that's it for the shoes. I usually bring two pairs of tennis shoes, but again, because we're only gonna be there for a couple nights, I decided that one pair was more than enough. So that is all I'm bringing for shoes. Okay, so now I'm gonna pack everything up and I will show you the end result of my carry-on luggage. Okay, so here is the end result. On this side, I have my makeup case. I squeezed in my curling wand on this side, my sandals, and then I packed all of my clothes vertically just so I could see everything and it would take up the actual height of my carry-on suitcase. So in here, I have some PJs, socks, my ears, and then I'll need to finish up and put in the rest of my undergarments in this area. So that's, I think, the only other thing that I need to add in here still. And then in this section back here, I have all of my toiletries. I have my blow dryer, my 
fan, my hat, my wedges, um, and if I need to squeeze in a couple more things, I have some room down in there to kind of fit things in. So I know some people use the packing cubes and I'm sure I'll invest in some eventually, but until then, this is working great. And I left out my travel outfit and my shoes, so I have those sitting out. And then lastly, for my carry-on bag, um, I have my laptop in this section, and then everything else I need, my camera equipment, magic bands, medicine, I'll throw in my wallet, my phone charger, um, probably some snacks and some other little things, but that is basically it and that is done. So that is everything. I wanted to also add that this carry-on suitcase, I know you can't really see it that well right now. Let me go ahead and zip this up, but I actually got this from Target. So we didn't have a ton to invest into carry-on luggage, um, but I did find these at Target. So I'm really excited about that. So I have it in this um, natural color and then Andy has it in a charcoal gray. So that is my carry-on suitcase and I just need to finish up those last couple things and I'll be packed. <laughs> Okay, so that is it for my July 2019 packing video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss these vlogs. And make sure to check out my trip announcement if you haven't seen that yet. And I think that's it for today. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.